Now, hopefully this works because my screen is not working now, but I wanted to do a little video on doing something that I love doing, which is making Christmas cards or any cards, I guess. But since Christmas is coming up, I thought I'd show you one of the Christmas cards that I'm going to make this year. I'm not going to say who it's for because they're probably going to watch this. And I don't want to spoil the surprise. So I just have to do this. Pumpkin, get away from that. You're a little fart. Some new tape runner here. Stop! Now I misplaced my um, blocks for my stamps, but I will uh, have to find them later. So I'll show you. This is um, an, a longer card that I'm going to make this year. I haven't done one this long before, so we'll see how it works. But what I need are my three different sub trees. It's just trees, that's all. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the silver. I've got a new one just in case this one. And we're going to, I wish I knew where they were. I don't remember where they got put. Okay, we'll just use this for now. So I stamp it. I don't see a lot of color, so I'm going to stamp it a couple times here. And I, all I want to do is just the top. Like I want to have the tops of the trees. Some of them, I'm going to make them look higher. I'm actually not going to use the other two. I'll just use these ones and make them. Different sizes. Like this one, we'll try and do the whole thing. This one just because it was pretty light at the top here. There we go. I'm gonna do a couple more in here. Again, ink is getting low in the middle. And we'll do one more right here now this oh that's one thing i don't have is baby wipes i use baby wipes i learned this from my mom and my grandma i use baby wipes to clean off your stamps or your area and that's one thing i don't have so i'm just going to go grab some paper towel and get it wet because you have to keep your stamps clean or else you get this build up of ink on them and then you can't use them very well. Works way better if you have baby wipes. Obviously, paper towel is not that sturdy because it's not made for scrubbing on something with little divots in it. So I'll put that away after. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I'll be right back.
chalk marker that I got from Michael's. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it in a second. Got my little tweezers and my glue. So what I'm gonna do is these, what I'm making is a night sky type of thing. I'm um, not doing the moon or anything like that because that's way too difficult. Especially on a card this size, you don't want to go over the top. So this is the sticker that I'm using. it to be able to move around if I go silent it's not that I'm ignoring the camera it's just that I am focused I promise so I'm just gonna stick that on and we're gonna use these um, and the chalk marker to make stars which I'm hoping will work. So there's our finished trees. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this on the back of Santa's sleigh and on the reindeer. This is just a glue runner. Um, it's just an easy way of gluing things down. Perfect. Now I have a feeling that this is not gonna stay. Um, but we will see what the outcome is after. Really, cat, you have to do that right now. Just put a little bit of glue over it and it should stick it. What did you find? Joy's a little bit of a cat. So what we're gonna do now is, since this is already stuck on, I'm gonna do a few dots just of the chalk pen and then um, go over top it with um, some glitter. Some of this chunky glitter. It is clear, so it's just like an iridescent kind of glitter. Even if it's not seen as glitter so much, or stars it's seen as like falling soon, which is fine with me. Pumpkin, must you do that right now? all of those. Now I'm going to use my tweezers if I can. can't see them properly. might just use my finger.
Now every so often you're able to get just a dab of glue on your actual tweezers. So it uh, will grab what you're trying to put without having to go around. Yes, that is how the Grinch stole Christmas playing that one. It's because it's weird being home by yourself. And no sound. Actually, I have a gold chalk marker. I might add some gold at the end to make it look like stars and snow maybe. If I had fine glitter, I would also put glitter, I put blue on the trees and then put a little bit of glitter. But because I don't, there's the front of our card. Now, I got the sticker at Michael's, so it's not just available anywhere. That's where I found it. Um, I'm just going to clean up this glitter and then we'll find this one. Now, this one Okay. So what we're going to do, so I'm just trying to remember the measurements of this. I don't know where my ruler is. So it's four and a quarter by... I think it's eight. Two, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's four and a quarter by ten, so that means I want to do four by nine and three quarters for the first piece. So we're going to use this paper for the inside because I thought it was really cute. That's my creasing tool, that's not my cutting tool. Pop that out. And we'll grab one of my cutting tools. Not sure. Okay, so we're going to go four. by nine and three quarters. That's nine and a half, nine and three quarters. So that's gonna be our base, and then we're gonna take this one, that one we'll have to put in the after. So all your scraps you can keep. Never, ever, 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 ever throw out your scraps. So we made this one four and nine and three quarters, so we're gonna go nine and a half. And we're going to go three and three quarters. Now it should be just a little bit smaller. 
and there we go. So that's gonna be our inside. We'll put our saying on it. I'm just putting Merry Christmas and then I'll write whatever else I wanna put in it after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue runner I put one along each long edge and one along each short edge. I'll try not to do more than that because it's a waste of glue. If it's not straight or even, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world if it's not. So what I'm going to do is I need to get out of my way. Do I have black ink in here? I do. Now when I was living at home, I had access to all of my mom's stuff. Um, now I obviously don't live at home, so I don't have access to any of it. But, um, I still, I have my own collection, obviously, and it's not going to, going to, um, affect me doing it. I really need to find those things. Okay, so we're going to do this one right here just a kind of like a landscape type deal and I'm going to try and find something that I can use to could probably use my phone. Now obviously if you don't want to use your phone as a stamp pad. You should have a stamp block, but I mean my phone worked, so I'm not too concerned. Yes, you're going to get stuff that comes off and gets on the rest of your paper. Don't stress about it. It happens to even seasoned um, crafters. My mom and grandma, it happens to them all the time. So don't stress about it. Your hard work. And then I'm going to take a deer, I'm going to use this this time, I'm just going to dab it into the black. I would have used silver, but it's not going to be my favorite It doesn't look the greatest, but I can fix it. Now, all I want left, all I want to do is take this little deer and put it on. Push too hard in the middle, that's why there's that smudge there. But, I mean, again, Crafting is not supposed to be perfect. It wouldn't be a hobby if somebody had perfected it. And then we're gonna take the other deer. We're gonna put that on there. Now, and now that I'm looking at this, I don't really like it. 
So what I might do, it doesn't work. This doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to peel it off. So what we'll do is we'll take another piece. That's why you always, always, always keep your scraps. Because if you do something like this, where you f suddenly figure out, I don't really like that, you can do something like, I'll show you. So you take another piece of paper, you figure out how big you need it. That's it's not a technical way of doing it, but that's the way I do it. I just mark it with my finger now. Um, oh, and keep your stamp pads closed. Never want your stamp pad to dry out. So what we'll do is we'll take this, cut that off. We'll take this, cut it off. So we've got our bring this back and we just we're just gonna put it right on top and then what I'm going to do is take some of this once I open it here this and you want enough since I messed up here I want enough that is going to basically you're gonna wrap this like a gift you can cut off the ends after this is going to be the back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue runner right in the middle so that once I flip it here, and then we're going to put glue runner on this part. I don't mind if it's not perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my gold paint pens. it to the string and what I do because I don't have a poker to make those I make my own out of whatever I have lying around 
Take our tag. Now it should just come through. There we go. What I'm going to do is we'll use both strings just to tie a little knot in it. Now I'm going to double knot it just because you never know when it's going to come undone. So once that's done, you can trim these. I'm going to keep mine long simply for because I want to. And it just looks like it's tied. And then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of glue runner just so that I can keep it in one spot. Now, if you're not used to doing this, your back is gonna kill you by the end of this. Um, I wish I knew where I put those. I need it. Oh, well, there they are. front of my face the whole time. Oh well, that's okay. So we'll take this and what we're gonna do is I'm making my own little stamp kind of outline just because these all come in little pieces so you can do them however you want. take the black we're gonna use it we're just gonna stamp it on oh this black is horrible so we're gonna do this really lightly just because there's so much ink 
And then for me, because sometimes you get so much ink on it, I take, will you stop it? I just take a Sharpie and I go over the words if they're not, if they don't transfer. So there's the inside. Now I got rid of my paper towel because it was dirty, so I'll have to take that to the washroom and wash it. Like I said, keep your string. Always want to keep your extras. Now that this has had a chance to dry, looks pretty cool. And we're gonna go and we're gonna stick this inside part in it. And then we're done. Now with the insides cards, I always do a little bit more than I probably should, simply for the fact that I really want it to stay. And there we go. There's our card. Now I always sign on the back too. Um, made with love and then I put the year generally Now the glue is still wet on these sparkle things, so it's gonna have to sit for a bit, so I'll have to watch, obviously, the cat. But it'll sit up here and we're done. So next time I'll get to make one of my other ones that I need to make. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, see ya.